Welcome to the review of iOS 14 on iPhone 7. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Keshu from my device slash back with another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about iOS 14 on iPhone 7. We'll talk about some new features and changes and talk specifically about the battery, performance, connectivity, heating issues and bugs. So make sure you watch this video till the end so that you don't miss out anything. So let's get started. So first things first, talking about the new features and changes. I know most of you already know what's new in here but those who are new to channel or don't know what's new, I'll cover it briefly and keep that as short as possible. So let's get started by the new home screen widget. As from my home screen you can see there is this calendar widget, this file widget, yes there are tons of new widgets and now you can add them on your home screen. As you can see there is new clock widget, the photos widget that will choose the weirdest photo in your gallery, the weather widget and music and battery smart stack and if you click on a widget you can add them widgets are available in different sizes like this battery widget it's available in three different sizes and you can hit that add button as you can see there's the widget if you again hit add and put another widget as you can see if i stack it over it it creates a smart stack that will automatically rotate throughout my day and the best thing that came out with this update is jiggle mode so another cool and breathtaking feature in iOS 14 is picture in picture and this is really cool and my personal favorite feature and to demonstrate this feature I have to use the Safari app because the native YouTube app doesn't support picture in picture right now. I do have a YouTube premium account but that doesn't work I don't know why but if I go to Safari and hit full screen on a video and if I hit the little picture in picture icon as you can see the video is playing in the background and I can navigate throughout the UI explore iOS 14 while my video is playing and if I don't want to watch the video I can just slide that to the right hand side and as you can see it's now completely playing in the background and another small detail that I just forgot to mention is that there is a new music icon as you can see from my home screen in iOS 14 it's like from ios 7 if i'm not wrong but yeah and the widget is also now pink as the music icon is personally i don't like it but it's just all on personal preferences i've seen a lot of people just love this new icon and there are little and minor changes in the music app but i'm not gonna cover them because i told you i'll keep that as short as possible so yeah well another thing that i want to include is new siri ui and ios 14 does this job great but there's one downside to this thing as well like if i'm reading something and i wake up siri to know a meaning of a word as you can see i have a context of what's going on in the background but if i wake up siri i cannot use my phone in the background like i cannot I scroll sure. if i'm using siri i cannot scroll in the background it just disables siri well i think that's Okay, so you have some context of what's going on in the background, but you cannot actually use your iPhone. Now, that was all for the features and changes in iOS 14. And now, let's talk about some good stuff. I'll cover battery, performance, connectivity, heating issues, and bugs. So make sure you watch this video till the end so that you don't miss out anything. So first things first, talking about the battery life. I can't really say much about battery life now also that I have used this iPhone extensively for weeks. Like if I go to settings and scroll all the way down until I see battery, oops, battery section, yeah. As you can see, this iPhone was last charged 50 minutes ago to 44% and now it's 26%. The battery is okay to me, like I used to carry a power bank with me when I used this iPhone and this is my side device like i have another device which is iphone 10 and the battery on this device is okay ish like you used to see on ios 13.5 it's like that but i'm 100 percent sure that the battery life will improve in the upcoming betas and now if we talk about heating issues heating issues on ios 14 are way less than they were on ios 13 like I play games on this iPhone and I don't really feel much of heating issues on this thing right here. iOS 14 has a long way to go and it's amazing. No heating issues, no connectivity issues, the battery is okay, performance is amazing and everything is so good. And next talk about the performance. I love the performance on iOS 14 beta 3. 
it's amazing my iphone 7 is running way faster than it was on ios 13. there are faster app launches like i haven't even faced a single app crash and considering the fact this is a beta everything is working so fine apps are working fine i play games on this thing right here i just love this update so now let's talk about connectivity on this update many people were reporting call drops and other connectivity issues on this update but that wasn't the case for me everything just worked fine on this iphone 7 and i'm really happy updating to ios 14 everything is working perfect there are no issues with connectivity also and yeah and the last thing that i want to talk about is bugs like i haven't encountered many bugs on this update surely there are some bugs less app crashes this thing is way stable than ios 13 beta was like there was a major bug in ios 14 beta 2 that was fixed in beta 3 which i'm running currently and this other section the specifically other section in storage took a lot of storage like more than 12 to 13 gb well this bug was fixed in ios 14 beta 3 and now the question comes in should you update to ios 14 beta 3 well if you want a greater performance some cool widgets app library new ui and if you find anything useful that you are sure that you will use you should definitely update to ios 14 beta 3 but if you are a battery guy like you play a lot of games and want a greater battery life you don't care about things like widgets app library new city ui you shouldn't update to ios 14 yet well before you go i have a quick tip for you guys if you are running on ios 14 you can go to camera and you can change controls from here like from hd30 to 4k30 then back and forth how to enable this thing go to settings scroll all the way down until you see camera just hit record video then just enable this toggle a good feature it'll save you a lot of time if you film a lot of videos a thumbs up for that well that marks the end of this video if you want to get this wallpaper I'll link it down in the description below thank me later and if you guys have enjoyed this video please subscribe to this channel i'm really working hard and putting a lot of efforts in these kind of videos so if you find this video helpful share it to your friends give it a thumbs up if you don't like it just smash the dislike button and yeah thanks for watching i'll catch you guys the next time peace